Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial on keeping your students engaged when you're using remote uh, learning or distance learning with your students and using Teams meetings. Um, how to keep them engaged. I want to say a quick shout out to Stephen Hustus, who's um, created a video on this uh, originally. And this is my, my, the Myvid tutorial is basically a follow up on that video on, on things that I do I think people might find interesting. Um, Stephen is, here's his uh, Twitter tag and here's his Twitter profile. So make sure you give Stephen a, a, a follow. He's absolutely awesome, always willing to help everybody. Stephen, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure meeting you in person as well. Okay, so let me uh, kick off. So um, I'm just going to run a quick Teams meeting very quickly. So here's a, a channel I've got here, and I'm just gonna run a new meeting from here. So if I just go to meet now, and I, I'll need to make sure that I've got my camera off when I'm doing this because I'm going to be using my camera um, using a different application. So when you start your meeting, you could either start the meeting with the camera off or you can switch it off afterwards. So I'm just going to start this without the camera. Join now. So this could be either scheduled meeting through your calendar or a meet now. That's uh, absolutely not an issue at all. And we'll look at the, the problems. So first of all, if I share my screen one or my PowerPoint presentation or anything like that, if I share screen one, what happens is this. It's sharing my entire screen. And now what's happening is when I've got my PowerPoint uh, on and I want to, let's say, display this. Um, there you go, Stephen's name and his Twitter tag there. So I put this there just to make sure I don't forget to mention Stephen. Um, and then when I go to my PowerPoint, what happens is students can't see me and I want my video feed to be there. I'm a very animated teacher. I, um, I use my hands a lot. I'll move around a lot. Um, so I, I think it's much better for the children if they can actually see you while you're doing your presentation as well. So how do we solve this? Well, one, one method is this, and this is what Stephen went over in his video as well. Um, it, it's useful. You don't need any applications. You can use this on any Windows device, but I'm going to show you some more advanced ways in a minute. Um, you can easily rearrange your Windows desk space, either to show your PowerPoint presentation um, without running it, and then you can open your camera app on Windows. And there you go. You've got your live feed now next to your PowerPoint presentation. Uh, you, one thing you do want to make sure is make sure you've got it on video mode, not camera mode, because of camera mode will find the face recognition and you have this square going around all the time. So if you put it on video, you can get rid of that. And again, that, that came from a tip from Stephen as well. All right. Now, one thing I don't like uh, about this method, although it's a quick solution, it, it works. Don't get me wrong. Um, I can't have my PowerPoint in full screen mode. So once I've got this, I cannot run my PowerPoint and have my video feed there as well because the PowerPoint presentation is taking the whole screen. So how do we fix this? Well, there's two ways. I'm gonna show you the one method and then I'll show you another method. Um, the one method is using the camera application that we've got here already. We want to make this a floating window. Now to do this, you can do it like this. You need to download an application. The application which I use is called uh, TurboTop. And TurboTop allows you to choose any one of your active windows to be a floating window or to always be on top. So here's TurboTop here. I'm gonna click on that. And now that is running in the notifications area. There it is here, down here at the bottom, TurboTop. I'm gonna select this. And it will show me all the applications I've got open right now. And that's quite a few of them. So I'm going to choose the, the application I want to be always on top, and it's my camera. Now, this camera is always on top. Doesn't matter what I do, that camera, no matter what I click on, will always be on top. Let's run this presentation. Let's do a Shift F5. There you go. So now I'm running this application, and I can have my video here, and I could be moving it around, and it will never vanish. And I can scroll through the rest of my presentation as well. Now, the one thing I don't like about this application is um, the camera, uh, Windows 10 camera, has a very large, thick border. It takes up a lot of window space as well. So it, it, the border gets smaller as you make it bigger, but that, that's just not helping because it's taking up too much of my screen. And so, but it does work. So if you're using this small and you adjust your PowerPoints um, accordingly, you can have your video feed there live. Okay, um, in Steven's video, which I found very useful, he had his uh, desktop arranged in such a way where he would have 
uh, his OneNote where he will be making his notes. He had his video feed like I've got here using the camera app and he was able to do inking and answer pay, uh, questions as well. So you can organize your screen, but with presentations, it's not very practical. So I'm gonna show you a th another way now, a third way. So I'm going to close this camera app and I'm going to open an application called, let me just close that here as well. So I'm gonna close TurboTop. And you, you have an application which you can download. Unfortunately, it's been discontinued, but it still works great. I haven't had any issues with it. Um, and the good thing about this app is called CamDesk. This application here, if you double click on it, it will create, it will run your video feed through straight away and it's always on top, no matter what you do. So there you go. If I just leave that there and run my PowerPoint now, here we go. Automatically, it's always on top and it's got no borders. So it makes it very small uh, and you can adjust the size as well. So if I right click on this and go to preferences, I can adjust the size of that video feed there. So I can make it smaller or bigger. And the good thing is I can move it around very, very easily. So if, if my video is on top of some of the PowerPoint, I can just move that over. And you can carry on using your PowerPoint slides as well. So here, this is in the way here. I can just drag that up there. Okay, now, as I said, CamDesk is, <coughs> is discontinued. However, um, I haven't had any issues with any of the cameras I've been using. Uh, but what I really like about CamDesk, I'm sure there may be other applications out there just as good. Uh, please let me know. Send me a message if you find one. Uh, what I really like about CamDesk is this, the fact that uh, it's you don't have to install it. So you can have this on your USB stick and any device you go, you just double click on the executable and it will run. You don't need to install it on a device. So any devices with any security settings are, are preventing you from um, installing applications. It's not an issue because it will run automatically from any device. Um, and that's it. Uh, I, I hope you find this video useful. Three ways there. You can use the camera, um, the built-in camera feature in Windows. Organize your desktop so everything's viewable. Or you can use uh, that in conjunction with TurboTop to have your camera application always on top. And that will allow you to have your video feed on top of everything. Or you can use something like CamDesk, which um, is, is a self-running application and it will create the video feed for you always on top automatically borderless hope you enjoyed it